More trains will be on Scotland's railways from Sunday as Scotrail prepares for its latest timetable shake-up. Electric trains will be introduced on an upgraded line. And across the country, select services increase to encourage people to use public transport. The changes come as Scotrail announced a survey asking passengers whether they'd like alcohol back on board. Brandon Cook reports. In the run-up to Christmas, you may be thinking of catching the train to do some shopping or have a day out in the town. And from Sunday, on a number of services at least, you'll have more options to do just that. ScotRail say their new timetable will improve reliance and frequency across the network. Nine out of ten of our services meet their punctuality targets, so we're delivering a good service for people. Some things do go wrong, particularly when the weather is involved, and we do everything we can to keep people moving. But from Sunday, we'll have more services, more seats across the country, and our advice to passengers is to check before you travel. So, what services will see changes? Well, in Glasgow, there will be a new half-hourly service on all stops on the Cathcart Circle between Mondays and Saturdays. That's stations like Shawlands and Pollock Shields. On the West Coast, expect extra Sunday services between Glasgow and Gourock. There will be more services between Glasgow and Edinburgh via Shots. And in East Lothian, services will stop at Wallyford. Meanwhile, electric trains will be introduced on the line between Glasgow and Barhead. If you've travelled between Glasgow and Edinburgh at any point over the past few years, then it's likely you'll have been on one of these electrified trains already. ScotRail say expanding this between Glasgow and Barhead shows their commitment in the decarbonisation of their network. After a three-year blanket ban, ScotRail is asking the public whether alcohol should be allowed back on board. Passengers are being encouraged to fill out a survey on their Wi-Fi. A bit intimidating, being in a confined space when there was alcohol being taken on a train. Don't want alcohol in trains, there's no need for it. No need for it, especially in local trains. And if you're on a train with you know, a few young people that are having a drink, or if I'm doing it with my friends, it's quite nice. It's just like everything else when it gets out of hand and it spoils it for everyone. Any changes on that will be the final say of the Scottish Government. Brandon Cook, STV News, Glasgow.